So guys, I just watched The Northman, and probably threw that too loud, but I'm ready. I never thought I would use this. <laughs> I should probably use this for my for my thumbnail. Yeah, I know y'all probably screaming nerd because I got all dressed up. Well, kind of underdressed a little a little more comfortable for me this is more comfortable i just watched the northman i didn't really clean up because the that movie she gets down and dirty in that movie um but right off the bat guys for me i thought it was amazing but i'm gonna have to warn y'all there's certain things it's nothing political so before y'all click away make sure oh before if you do want to click something click that subscribe button and share Please, I'm trying to get my views up. I'm trying to get my subscribers up. Oh, and I started a TikTok for y'all. Same same name as well. I do more comic book stuff on there. Okay, so guys, this ain't gonna be for everybody. I'm gonna go right off the bat. This is more like a guy's type of film or like, I guess, like more Game of Thrones a little bit, especially with the fight scenes. Oh my God, some good fight scenes in here, but this movie is more of a film type of aspect like it's more gonna get like the people who like adore like cinematography because some of the shots are absolutely beautiful but if i'll get into that in a second but going back to the this is not for everybody so what i mean is you're not gonna see like it's not gonna be like gladiator where like you're gonna see like these long penny shots and the zoom in during the hero's during the hero's reaction or you're gonna it's not gonna be well lit whenever something awesome happens it's straight film it's straight it's there's no great it's not like lighting like this like um hate to say it but i i love marvel films but like a marvel film well lit and everything you're not there's probably like, i saw one maybe two shots of green screen and that was about it but my god this is a beautiful movie beautiful you also you're not gonna see the operatic like type of like sounds and like the stuff that you get in typical like like hollywood this is not hollywood film this is like film sip film like stuff you go to school for and like that doesn't i'm not taking anything away this movie is absolutely astounding and you'll get my review in a second but hold on so the camera work is so well set up and shot like the camera will just sit there and see the reaction of the actors and it'll let the actors and the dialogue just just breathe for me i guess the standouts are scars guard and uh, nicole kidman i didn't i haven't seen nicole kidman in something this good in a long long time like they really take advantage of i gotta i gotta hand it to the cinematographer very good edgar's that's the director if you're more familiar with his other films, I believe it's The Witch and The Lighthouse. This is more toned down than The Lighthouse. Don't get me wrong, I did like aspects of The Lighthouse, I really did. But that ending is the one that made me kind of like fall off. This one is more for more general audiences. But if you did not, if you don't think you're going to like it from what I just said, you're not going to... This movie's gonna split people right in half, right away, because whether you're gonna either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it, or not hate it, but it's just it's not gonna be for you. It's not. And with that said, let me fix my bra. Yeah, this is not gonna be for you. Um, and speaking of shots, there's a lot of long takes, and I didn't realize until you start in. Once you see that the cam cameras don't cut in this film as much as they, you think it would. And it's pretty great. I think, to be honest, this is, has more in common with The Revenant. This is also a revenge tale. And I know it's been done a thousand times, but at this point, it's how you do it. And there was a lot of twists that I... This, there's a big twist that I didn't... That I had a feeling there was something off. But the way they twisted it, like the shock from like what was actually true, that was the kick in the ass. I was like, I did not expect. And I don't want to give it away, so this is going to be a spoiler free as well. So if you know Norse mythology and Noratic, 
Noradic, if I'm saying it right, Noradic culture and stuff like that. Or like just mainly I know stuff because I have like, I like mythology stuff. Just in general, the reason why I like comic books so much. If you like Norse mythology or if you play the God of War game, the new one, which I absolutely love, you'll get a deeper meaning of some of the visuals. And some of the visuals in here, oh my god, like the filter of the camera changes in like these dreamlike sequences. And you're just transported into another world when you walk into this movie. And whenever, and for it being a film, the type of film that you have in your head, it's actually pretty well paced if you are enjoying it. You might, if you're not, it's going to be a slow burn. And it is a bit of a slow burn, but not in a bad way at all. Like, I was never bored, to be honest. Just, but I like cinema, so, like, this stuff gets me. Like, even to the shots, like I said, like, the visual aspect, you're not going to get that well-placed, like, shot of, like, a kill. And there was a part in this film where, like, there was an awesome kill, and I blurted it out. I was like, oh, you'll have those gleeful kills, but not, like, in a John Wick aspect. Where it's all uber violent and stylistic. No, this is just like straight violence. And they don't shy away from it. It doesn't get too bloody. I think I've seen like maybe a Quentin Tarantino movie could beat this. So it's not going to be in that aspect. Don't bring your kids either. Don't bring your kids. <sighs> Man, dude, this film, this, this film is amazing. For me, it's amazing. With, with the Noradic Norse mythology stuff like that, like. This movie felt like it transported me to another world. And that's what movies are for me. That's what I'm, this movie took me to another world. And that's why we go to the movies to enjoy a different world. To step out of ours and go into something else. And this is why I love this film. I was about to give it classic. But I feel like I need to watch it a couple more times. To see if I still want to give it that. And with that being said... I mean, I can't think of anything bad to say about this film. And then I'm going to give this my first gold. Gold is a 10 out of 10. Masterpiece, whatever you want to call it. This is goals for gold, guys. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I'm probably going to go watch it two or three times. This will keep me set before Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Oh, and... If you're curious, I will do a giveaway for Multiverse of Madness movie review, but you have to share my videos. Speaking of that, guys, deuces, y'all. And until next time, guys, y'all take it easy. 